Now in this story, uh, Elijah, it's a story about rain. Elijah had made the challenge against Ahab and Jezebel that it will not rain in this country. Now the irony, of course, in all of this is that the God that Jezebel worshipped, the God that Jezebel brought into the country, was the God Baal, the one who's called in the ancient Ugaritic text, the rider on the clouds. He's the rain god. He's the thunder god. He's the lightning god. Fire comes from heaven. The challenge is, okay, if he's the fire god, if he's the lightning god, if he's the water god, I said it will not rain, it has not rained, and let's see if he can even bring down any fire from heaven, and he's unable to do either. <coughs> it's clear in the story that it is Yahweh who trumps the, the claims, at least, for man. The story assumes this location, or somewhere around this location, in all the kinds of things that happen in the story. The Jezreel Palace, as I just pointed out at our, at our last site, is down at the, at the edge of the, of the Mount Kilwala. It's right over there. And if you, if you think about Jezebel taking her first trip away from home to come into this palace to live here, this is the summer palace here in Jezreel, the winter palace is in, in Samaria. But if you look up the coast, she has to come down the coast from all the Phoenician cities over the ladder of Tyre, right? down along the coast, and there is, there is in the north a little piece of Shvela, a little piece of this lowland that, li that lies beside the, between the coastal plain and the higher mountains. And that is right here, which forces all traffic right along the coast, over the ladder of Tyre, and then they have to slip in at one little spot, which is this spot right here below Mount Carmel. Physically then, this is the place where idolatry, the Baal religion, is pouring in from the Phoenician cities. It's through this little physical conduit. It's like a little tiny pipe of idolatry pouring into this large valley and ending up at the Jezreel Palace where the Baal prophets would dine each other. I think there's a significance why this place was chosen. also a place where you can look to the left and Gehazi or whoever the servant is looks out and is able to look right out. Now today you can't see it because it's hazy, but that's the Mediterranean right there. And remember the patterns of rain. The rain is going to flow off the west, off the Mediterranean, and it's going to come in, in inland from that point. And this is where they can actually see that first, you know, which cloud, put your hand up, which cloud maybe would have matched the cloud that the servant saw. That, that, that was the first sign of rain after those years of a lack uh, of a lack of rain. This this site then to me is a very eloded spiritual site, right. and it was at this very point where idolatry was brought to an end, and where this speech was uh, was first declared. How long will you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow Him; but if Baal is God, uh, follow Him. Any questions about this site?